they're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I'm just standing in their way. That's all I'm doing. I'm standing in their way. I have been empowered by my great friend, your august governor, not to allow blood sport, but to bring justice to the venal actors who have betrayed. Let it be known that British liberties are not the grants of princes or parliaments. That many of our rights are inherent and essential. Agreed on as maxims and established as preliminaries even before parliament existed. We have a right to them, derived from our maker. The moneyed interest in this country is all in the north, so the wealth and power would inevitably be concentrated there in the federal government, to the expense of the south. If that is the case, it is unavoidable if the union is to be preserved. I fear our revolution will have been in vain if a Virginia farmer is to be held in hock to a New York stock jobber who in turn is in hock to a London banker. The opportunities for uh, avarice and corruption would certainly prove irresistible. government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to establish new government. Liberty by law. If we don't get this job done, everybody's gone. One minute. But I can't do it alone, Colonel. I need your help. You swear on your daughter's life, on my family's, that you can hit that mark. I swear to God I will. And let's turn this bomb off. I'm interested with the nation's safety, Thomas. Now these war measures will protect us from insurrection and subversion. There is no war. And that is the principle behind these measures. Prevention. I cannot protect the nation by attacking the right of every man to speak freely without fear. You're trampling on the Constitution. <laughs> States will have no alternative but to resist these measures, which are an assault on the liberty of their people. People's representatives demanded these acts. Would you have me deaf to the voice of the people? You are the president of the Senate, Thomas. Surely you will respect the wishes of the majority. As I do. I cannot preside over a reign of witches. I shall remove myself to Monticello. Our forefathers have earned and bought liberty for us at the expense of their ease, their estates, their pleasures, 
and their blood. Liberty is not built on the doctrine that a few nobles have a right to inherit the earth. No! No! It stands on this principle that the meanest and lowest of the people are, by the unalterable, indefeasible laws of God and nature, as well entitled to the benefit of the air to breathe, light to see, food to eat, and clothes to wear as the nobles or the king. That is liberty. And liberty will reign in America. we force a decision too soon, we may reap disaster. Independence without unanimity means nothing. I'm in complete agreement, Doctor. <laughs>